to a very special episode from Nairobi, Kenya. We are at the Two Rivers Mall and we're going to check out some electric taxis. Uh, we can start charging. Yeah. Also, it works by RFID card. You have to flash your card and then it starts. Okay. Okay. And then. Oh, so you can see over there now it's charging. Ah, okay. So, how long does it take to charge? It takes maybe between 30 minutes to one hour. One hour. Full charge. So, there's the dashboard. It says we've got 57% charge and we can go 75 kilometers. Okay. So, we're on our way. It's yeah. very quiet. It's very quiet. You can't even hear the sound. Ah. It's too quiet. Hmm? So how long have you been driving uh, electric taxi? Um, for now, this now I, I can say so it's now like a month now. Okay. Since I joined uh, Nopia, mm -hmm. and uh, and has, I've been have seen it improving. It's been good because we have done a lot of marketing. Okay. People are enjoying the ride. The case because our cars don't make noise, they are silent. Mm -hmm. So people uh, people are taking it as an as. A, a very good uh, transport. Yeah, and it's a clean ride because you're, yeah. it's an electric car. Yeah. It's um, zero emissions. And also in Kenya, the electricity is about 77% renewable. Sure, so you're, you're charging right. off clean energy anyway. Yeah, you're right. Which is you're very right. good for the environment. Even for the environment. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm based, I'm, I'm, I spend most of my time in South Africa and Zimbabwe. Yes. So I'm visiting Kenya and I saw on BBC, oh. they did a story on Nobia Ride. Yeah, we so BBC, yeah. I'm like, oh, when I go to Kenya, I have to use this Nobia Ride. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm quite excited to be here. You are most welcome. Yeah. You just enjoy, enjoy our ride. Even when you are in, uh, wherever you are going, going to the market, the yes. Nobia. Because uh, our vision is to hit, to hit Africa. Hit Africa. Oh, that's, the that's, whole, that's good. The whole world, they can know that mm -hmm. there are cars that can so, be used. So this is actually my first time in a Nissan Leaf. Oh, yes. Okay. I've always, I've, I've actually seen it on, um, mm -hmm. on TV and uh, like, you know, like when I travel, I see them driving around. But I've never actually been in one. Yeah. So I should say Asante Sana to you. Karibu Sana. <laughs> yeah, for, for, for letting me enjoy my first ride in a... With Nopia. With Nopia. Nopia and in the yeah. Nissan Leaf, okay. In the Nissan Leaf, yeah. Okay. Should we say 10 to 15 trips a day? On average, what you use um, your daily um, yeah, on a daily basis, you can make uh, between 10 and 15 trips in a day. Okay, depending on how many okay. people are coming here, okay, and how good, depending on how the pieces are going. Like, you know, we are heading now to the celebration, so, oh, yeah, so we, yeah, we are hoping we'll be making more trips. More trips, okay. Yeah. And how, how, what are you doing to market uh, the electric cars and the electric taxi in, in Nairobi? Yeah. Yeah. How are you? How are you? How are you making sure people find out about uh, the ride and then they download and use it? Uh, for now, we have we have we have, we have done marketing uh, using flyers. We're giving people some flyers. We're giving flyers, yeah. Yeah, we have we done uh, online marketing. Online marketing, okay. Yeah. Like I, I saw online. Like, like I saw like, I saw yeah. on LinkedIn. That's where I first saw it. Yeah. And then I saw it on B on on, uh, on BBC, BBC as well. CNN. Yeah, CNN. Even in our in our local station, like TV is there. Okay, yeah. So people. Where yeah, I saw Richard Quest. I was yeah. talking about it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Ah. I wish you all the best for your business. It's very fascinating. Yeah, thank you. Mm. I think, uh, we hope uh, by, the, by the next year, uh -huh. Anopia will hit Nairobi. Nairobi. And uh, let's say Kenya and the whole of Africa. Whole of Africa. Yeah. So you said you're planning to expand to about 50 cars by the end of the year. By the end of the year. Oh, that would be pretty impressive. 50 cars. 50 cars by the end of the year we are having. We are trying it would be very impressive. Yeah. And the more cars we bring on the roads, um, the more we save not just the environment, but also financially in the economy. Think about it. Yeah. Petrol is important. Sure. Yeah, and yeah, petrol yeah. is dollar uh, eighteen a liter now in, yeah. in, in Nairobi. Yeah. So if we offset a lot more of the imported petrol, yeah. we keep more of the money here in Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah, because this is locally generated electricity, yeah. mostly from geothermal yeah. and the other sources as well. Yeah. But uh, this electricity we're making here, yeah. so we keep more of the money in, in money the family. The family. Yeah. yeah, it'll be good for the economy. Yeah, and then, uh, energy independence. Energy independence. Because we can't control the price of petrol; it goes up and down, up and down. Yeah. 
So at least we can hedge. We know the cost of energy per kilowatt hour, yeah. and uh, at least we can predict yeah. um, how, how, how high it goes. Yeah. We can try and see based on the total power trend. It's, it's, there's more for a predictable trend as compared to a petrol, which has many other factors around. Yeah, sure, uh, right, right. Even I hope, even I believe, when maybe like you have like uh, two million people owning electric cars, mm -hmm. I still believe that if the fuel petrol, it will be there, mm -hmm. the pricing of fuel will be go down, it will go down still. Because of yeah. Yeah, because uh, there will be no many people using gas. Oh, okay, because of lack of demand. Because of lack of demand, mm -hmm. so it will go down. Which area is this now in Nairobi? We are now in Parkland. Okay, Parkland. I guess it's a Parkland. Okay. Parkland It's too close to Nairobi, CBD. Ah, okay. I think it's uh, people are starting to hear about it. Yeah, it's, um, and, uh, I'm not sure if there's any other service in Africa that's doing this besides Nokia. Nokia is the first one I've heard about oh. that's using strictly electric cars, uh -huh. which is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So you said you travel 150 kilometers a day, or how many? Times, uh, how between, far do you travel? Between, a, between 100 kilometer. Mm -hmm. well, let's say roughly 100, 100 kilometers in a day. In a day. You can make 100 kilometers in a day. And how many times do you charge it? You can charge it uh, maybe twice. Twice a day. Or maybe. Maybe even once. Or, or even maybe once. Mm -hmm. So, you, are, are, are you ever worried that you run out of charge? Let's say you're on a trip with a customer. Do you ever get worried that the charge will finish? I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm never worried of that because before I start my trip, eh, mm -hmm. I have to calculate that my customer is going. Right now, you are going to Hilton. Mm -hmm. You have come from two rivers. Eh? Mm -hmm. You are going to Hilton. Mm -hmm. I have to calculate through my percentage. Of the, of the charge eh? mm -hmm. and my kilometers that I have, that I'm having. Mm -hmm. If maybe I, ha I will happen to come back to two rivers or to the uh, somewhere closer to the charging point, I should know the kilometer that you come from two rivers to, to, to Hilton mm -hmm. will, will, will cover me to go to Hilton and then and, come back. And then come back again. So I have to come to Katrina before I start. And also, if, you, if someone, let's say, on your way back to two rivers, yeah. if someone then requests you, you also have to calculate how much is left. Can you go and get that person? Uh, and then back to two rivers. But in general, you've had no problem. You've never, you've not run out of charge. You haven't been stuck on the road. Yeah, you're right. So you see, people have what they call range anxiety. Yeah. And if so, you, so you're saying there's nothing to worry about uh, yeah. as long as you plan your trip there's right. There's nothing to worry about if you, when you have you just, just plan your trip. And if you see, and maybe, maybe you can be, uh, there can be a request, eh? mm -hmm. and maybe you you have already that maybe your charge might not take you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. you just go offline. Okay. You just go offline. Okay, just go offline. Just go offline. Uh -huh, then you charge. Then you go somewhere to charge. And then when you got some charge, then you then you're you're back, online. Charge, then you are back online. Ah, okay, yeah. So it's 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 quite easy to adjust to driving from a petrol car yeah. to an electric car. Yeah. Because in, in a petrol car, you then quickly just uh, drive to the nearest petrol station. Yeah. But it's not that much of a big inconvenience yeah. because it's just planning, which is not really hard to do. Yeah. It also it also teaches you about energy management and, and uh, energy efficiency, how to optimize your energy use. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually uh, quite interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. I like it. It's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Enjoy the night. Yeah, thank you. I can feel even the cars are very quiet. You're very quiet and it's quite smooth. Even when we started, it started on the ignition, there was no even the sound. Mm -hmm. They're just quiet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just about to rain now, uh, Sanya. Yeah, it's almost raining. Mm -hmm. Almost. You know, the weather of the road cannot be predicted. It changes by time. So, 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 what type of customers do you get in general? Who are your customers who are using Nopia? Uh, all, all, all types of customers use Nopia. Okay. Even the, uh, as we can say, even in the government, like yesterday I have someone who is an expert of uh, Uhuru. Mm -hmm. And uh, he made uh, a request. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> So we have every, every sort of people are So it's not just businessmen, it's just no, anybody, anybody. anybody. No more even, no more commuters. Even if I have friends who have cars, eh? mm -hmm. they are leaving them at home. Okay. They have they want just to enjoy the Nokia. Ah, that's good. Okay. Like electric experience. Yeah. And once they use it, they're also trying to buy maybe they'll, they'll be converted to buy their own electric cars. Yeah, even the yeah. others who are saying they they are going to purchase mm -hmm. for themselves. Yeah, because they've seen it. They have seen you it. You know, like it's different like when you just see it on TV or in the newspaper. Now you actually see it, you experience yeah. it, you yeah. ride in it, yeah. you see this is an actual 
the actual, actual solution. Yeah, the actual fact of the crowd. Yeah. yeah, and then you're saying, oh, this works. I'm moving to this. Yeah. Okay, is this a castle? What's this? This is for the Hindus. Oh, the Hindus, like the church. The for Hindus. Okay. Very fascinating. In other parts of the world, what is growing in popularity right now is electric motorbikes. Are there any electric motorbikes in, for, for in now, Kenya? For now, in Kenya, we have not come to electric uh, motorbikes. Mm -hmm. I've not seen one. Mm -hmm. But we can hear rumors people want to purchase electric motorbikes. Okay, because they're making them by the millions in China. Millions in China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. not. In Zimbabwe, we already have some people selling them in downtown. So if you go to downtown Harare, mm -hmm. there yeah. are shops that have opened selling electric motorbikes. Oh. Yeah. And people, the response has been quite good, so they tell us that uh, people are buying them. Yeah? Yeah. I just hope one day we'll come to Zimbabwe and visit the country. You must come. I yeah. must come there and see the you world must. in Croatia. Yeah. yeah. So that's it for this week's episode. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the next episode. Thank you.